Namaste and good morning to all capacitors. I told it is an ultimate topic in electrostatics. Did the details about the capacitor and capacity. Today let us see some of the examples. Be ready with your books and pens. Work along with your teacher. Right? First example. First example. Given two capacitors, C1 and C2 are two given capacitors and uh, with ratings they are given. See, C1, 4 microfarad, 400 volts. And what is the meaning of this? This is of capacity 4 microfarad and can withstand a maximum of 400 volts. So this is capacity rating and this is voltage rating and the capacitor if exceeds 400 volts, that voltage rating, it will burn. That is what is the meaning of the rating. Now another capacitor, C1, C2 with the ratings are given, connected in series across a battery of 1200 volts. It's a data. Another question is which of them burns? It is the same, it is an easy case of dividing potential between two capacitors, yesterday we have told. Now see the solution. The potential in series divides was the principal study, right? So now this 1200 volts will divide between C1 and C2. What is the rule? Now across C1, I am writing as V1. Write down the expression. The total volts, I am C2 by C1 plus C2. See what is the answer it is got? 720 volts out of 1200, 720, therefore remaining 480 will appear across this C2. Now the question was which of them burns? And therefore here the voltage rating of C2 is 600 volts. Now it has got 480 volts and the C1 with 400 volts has 720. Therefore the one which burns is C1. C1 will burn. So as you can see, though the question is something like connected across and burning of the capacitors, it is nothing but division of potential between capacitors. Now, one more example. In the second example, which is a wide open example I am telling you. In this example, now again let us use all those simple principles. I am showing the network here. You can see this network of capacitors. Uh, 1 microfarad, 2, 3, 4, all microfarads are shown such that this 4 microfarad, 2 microfarad they are in parallel and that combination is in series with 3 microcoulomb and again this 1 micro, microfarad is a parallel to that combination. Likewise, a network is given and in this network I have posed some of the questions like this. Find the potential across 3 microfarad. There are about 3 to 4 or 5 in any number of capacitors that are shown. You are asked to find either PD across any of the capacitors or charge on any of the capacitors, energy stored on any of the capacitors or the total charge supplied by the battery or the total energy stored in the system. Like that's a wide open question. You can frame like 6 to 7 questions. I have shown you a few examples here. Now first, when you look at this, please see that these 2 and 4 microfarads that are parallel, that resultant is in series with 3 microfarad. And again, that result is parallel to 1 microfarad. This is how you look at the network. Now, 2 and 4 parallel, C1 plus C2, it becomes 6. 6 and 3 becomes series. Right. 6 and 3 becomes series. 6 and 3 series means C1, C2 bar, C1 plus C2. Use that, you get 2 microfarad. The 2 microfarad and the 1 microfarad will be in parallel. So, the resultant capacity of the network is 3 microfarad. It comes. Now, we are calibrating the individual potentials or charges or energies. And for that, we use those principles how potential divides, when potential divides. Similarly, when charge divides, 
and what is the rule for division of charge so aesthetics class you will use it here so now it is 120 volts so all the 120 volts will appear across one microfarad you can see this is connected to the battery therefore what is the potential across one microfarad it will be 120 volts again this 120 volts will find will split or divide between these two right as i told you 2 and 4 becomes 6 6 and 3 this 120 volts will divide the phenomenon right there. One is 6 microfarad, another is 3 microfarad, same expression used here. So what will be the potential on this 6 microfarad? This is 120 times 3 by 9, which is 40 volts. And therefore, across 3 microfarad, I will write here, V across 3 microfarad will be 8 volts. So this is how we have first divided the potential. What is the potential on one microfarad? All the volatility will appear. And when it comes to question of this above branch, then what is that? Here 3 microfarad has 80 volts, 4 microfarad, 40 volts, 2 microfarad is also 40 volts because they are in parallel. 120 volts, 80 volts, 40 volts and 40 volts. So that is how we have divided potential among different capacitors. Now, if you are asked to find charge, you will use Q is equal to CV. Or if you are asked to find the energy stored in the capacitor, then you will do it Q or that C V square by 2. So in all such examples, the basis would be to divide the potential and find the individual potentials then you can find either charge or energies. Therefore, now charge on 2 microfarad. So, what will be the charge on 2 microfarads? Q is equal to Cv. I am using C 2 micro 10 by minus 6 and V across 2 microfarad will get it as 40. Therefore, this is 80 microfarad. And now it is energy stored in one microfarad was again one more question that I have shown. So for that energy on one microfarad is yes, I will use C V square by 2 C one microfarad V square. Remember, we have told already one microfarad, the, all the 120 will appear, therefore it is 120 square C V square by 2 you please do this simplification let your teacher not do that please do not do this calculation now the point is that what is the total energy stored in the system can be a question similarly what is the total charge supplied by the battery can be a question for that what is the answer now earlier we have told what is the C effective of the network we have told 4 and 2 Parallel 6, 6 and 3 series will get 2, 2 and 1 parallel, therefore it will be 3 microfarad. Therefore, what is the C effective means? 3 microfarad. And what is the total volts? It is 120 volts by the battery. Therefore, now what is Q total supplied by the battery will be Q is equal to CV that is 3 into 120 that is 360 micro coulomb farad for capacity coulomb for charge. So the total charge supplied by the battery is 360 micro coulomb. And now what is the total energy of the system? Total energy of the system is once again you will use either u is equal to c v square by 2 where c is effective capacity and v is the total volts or else you will also use this expression q v by 2 q for charge supplied by the battery which is 360 micro coulomb v for 120 so this is what is the total energy supplied by the battery so in this question See, we have done about 7 to 8 questions. Individual potentials, 
are the charge on individual capacitors, energy on individual capacitors, energy supplied by the battery, by, by the battery or total charge supplied by the battery, so on and so forth. So, like these examples, you make sure how to divide the charge and potentials. That is the basis. Yeah, look at this example. Example says n identical capacitors each with the rating. N identical capacitors each with rating 3 microfarad dash 200 volts. They are used to obtain a rating of 5 microfarad 600, and 600 volts. This is the data. Now find the minimum value of n is the question. Right? Remember yesterday when we discussed about the combinations of capacitors talked about series combination parallel combination and also the mixed combination why we talked about mixed combination because in the series combination capacity rating decreases and voltage rating increases whereas in parallel combination capacity rating increases but not the voltage rating in the case where we need both higher capacity rating and higher voltage rating. In all such cases, we use mixed group. Clear? Now here, see here, capacity rating increased and voltage rating as well increased. And therefore, I am using mixed grouping. Again, just reminder of yesterday's class, X capacitors in series and why such rows connected in parallel such that what is the V effective of the combination? It will be X times V, which is the voltage rating of each capacitor. And what is C effective? One row will have an effective capacity of C by X, right? And why such rows in parallel? So we know parallel identical, multiply with the number Y times C by X. Now the substitution will give you the values. What is V effective? 600 is X times 200 is one equation giving us to x equal to 3 and then other one another one 5 equal to y by c given to be 3 by x given to be x value is also 3 therefore y is 5. So what is the meaning of this one? We should have a combination such that three capacitors are in series and five such rows in parallel. Now what will be the total number of capacitors? X in one row and Y in Y rows in parallel. So total number of capacitors is nothing but X times Y. So that is we need a minimum of 15 capacitors for the required capacity and voltage rating. So one more example says N identical capacitors when they are connected all in series effective capacity is 0.2 microfarad all in series right and then instead of series when all of them are connected in parallel effective capacity is 128 microfarads. This is the data. Now the simplest of the questions will be find N now let us do this simple example and then let us see how the same example, the, the, the data can be improvised into a, another question or questions as well. Now here, remember, yesterday we have told N identical, N identical, all of them in series. What is the effective capacity? Remember, we read it as C by N. If C is the capacity of each capacitor and uh, N is the number then CS is equal to C by N. And all in parallel, remember the expression is N times C. This word is N times C. Therefore now if I take this ratio CP upon CS, yes, CP upon CS, what is the number? You will get it as N square. Is that okay? NC upon C by N. So the answer will be n square. Now 
According to the data, what is that CP by this 128 by 0 0.2 is n square. This is uh, 64. Let me just change the number. Say suppose here say this is 2 microfarad. Yeah, this is 2. 64 n square. Therefore, n is 8. n equal to 8. So if I want simply the number of capacitors it is 8 now another question can be asked like what is the capacity of each capacitor then you will use that anyways I got this number 8 therefore now NC is equal to 128 and therefore C is equal to 128 by 8 right so you can have the value of N now instead the same data instead of asking for n supposing a question is extended like this now he says for series combination of n by 2 series and n by 2 parallel what will be the effective capacity that is out of n capacitors now first n by 2 capacitors are connected in series and the remaining n by 2 connected in parallel Again, they have made into the pattern combination. That is how the question sounds. In such case, see, n by 2 series. n by 2 series. So, what will be the effective combination? C effective will give us 2. Yes? Each of C, we have such number. n by 2, therefore, this is 2C by n. One more thing n by 2 parallel n by 2 in parallel so what will be the c effective suppose here i write c effective is equal to c1 is equal to here i write c effective is equal to c2 is equal to n by 2 times c this is c n by 2 now for the series combination for the series combination of n by 2 series and n by 2 parallel. So what will be the one? We write C effective is equal to. Remember series combination you write C1, C2, Y. C1 plus C2. Now it is up to you to do this simplification. C1, C2, 2C by N. NC by 2 by C1 plus C2, 2C by N plus Cn by 2. And I leave at this space. You please substitute the values. Already we have given. We got the value of N. And also earlier we got the C value as well. If you substitute, now you will get uh, for this question. Right? Do that uh, one simple simplification on your own. Next example also given based on a simple circuit, a network of capacitors. A capacitor network is shown here. 4 microfarad and this is 9 microfarad and 3 microfarad in parallel, all connected across 100 volts. Now, for this network, a simplest question that I will create is what happens initially? This key is closed. What happens when this key is open? That is the simplest question. Let us first solve for that and let us say other improvisations. Now in this network, initially what will be the total capacity? You can see here 3 microfarad and 9 microfarad in parallel, parallel capacitors and therefore it is 12. 4 and 12 become series combination. First initially 9 and 3 parallel combination. 12 microfarad then this is 4 and 12 remember series combination 4 microfarad and 12 microfarad what will be the answer c1 c2 by c1 plus c2 so this is 4 into 12 by 4 plus 12 16 so it will be 3 microfarad so initially when the key is closed if this is the case when key is closed the effective capacity in this network is 
3 microfarad therefore is the charge supplied by the battery q is equal to i am using cv 3 micro into battery of 100 ohms so this is 300 micro coulomb is the initial case when the key is closed now he says key is open when key is open what happens when this key is open this 9 microfarad 9 microfarad capacitor will be disconnected it will not be included in the network therefore then the only capacitors will be 4 microfarad and 3 microfarad I think you can look at the network and you can hear me as well when key is open the 9 microfarad capacitor will be disconnected Therefore, now the new effective capacity C effective dash will have only 4 microfarad and 3 microfarad in series again. Therefore, the effective capacity is C1, C2 by C1 plus C2. This is 12 by 7 microfarad. Therefore, now what will be the charge that is supplied by the battery? Or the, what is the charge that the system can hold earlier the system held 300 micro coulomb for a net capacity of 3 microfarad now here it is the effective capacity is decreasing 12 by 7 microfarad therefore effective capacity to hold the charge also reduces therefore this q dash is equal to again use cv expression then it will be 12 by 7 times 100 of course 12 by 7 micro submittable is there and uh, this is 100 volts so this turns out to be yes any guesses 7 ones hmm 7 6 are 48 40, 7 7 are 49 so it's nearly 1.7 1.7 so it comes around nearly 170 micro coulomb nearly 170 micro coulomb please carefully watch these numbers initially the network held a charge of 300 micro coulomb but when the key is disconnected it has the ability to hold only a charge of 170 micro coulomb what does it mean therefore since the ability to hold the charges has decreased due to decrease in capacity now the answer is this 170 micro coulomb remember this 170 micro coulomb is now what is the charge present on 4 micro volt and also as well as 3 micro farad therefore the charge will flow from capacitors to back back to battery Earlier the charge from battery to capacitors, charging has taken place. Now key when disconnected or key when it is open. Now what happens? 300 minus 170. This is 130 micro coulomb. This 130 micro coulomb charge will flows will flow back to battery. So what is the key point here we remember in any such examples supposing if the net capacity of the system decreases then the charge flows back to the battery otherwise supposing in some cases where we have done such that we have done such a thing that the effective capacity of the network increases then charge will flow from battery to the capacitor network. So both the possibilities are there, charge can flow from battery to, that is always under the excess charge. Excess charge will flow from battery to capacitors when capacity of the network increases. Otherwise, when effective capacity of the network decreases, charge flows from the network of capacitors back to battery. Supposing uh, the same example, the same example, I will just make a small change instead of giving this key and open close, this is 
initially the system now i say now i say after some time this 3 microfarad is completely filled with with a dielectric of say constant uh, constant uh, constant 3 if a dielectric of constant 3 is completely filled in the case of 3 microfarad then what will be the question again what happens in the network now in this case in this case yes initially before filling after filling before filling and after filling before filling earlier case the same c1 is equal to 4 microfarad and c2 is C2 was 12 microfarad because 9 and 3 were in series. Therefore, C effective was 4 into 12 by 4 plus 12. And the answer 3 microfarad. Yes, it is the same. Now we'll come to after filling. After filling, therefore 3 microfarad and what will be the Q? Q1. Is a CV same as 300 micro cool. Now after filling, after filling, now this three completely filled with the dielectric. Yesterday's result, complete filling of space with the dielectric. Then C dash becomes K times C. Remember that. Use that here. If now the new network will be. Like this. This one is nine instead of three. Why? Because three and completely filled with another dielectric. Right? Therefore, it is three times three becomes nine microfarad, and this one is same earlier nine microfarad, and this one is the same four microfarad. So this is what is the change that will be seen. So this is now. In this case, again I am calculating what is C effective? C effective nine and nine series. Sorry, parallel C one plus C two. Therefore, it is four plus eighteen. Sorry, four into eighteen by four plus eighteen. Right? So how much? How much? Seventy two by twenty two. This is the effective capacity, and therefore, what is Q two? Again, I am using C V expression. C for seventy two by twenty two. Shall I write it as thirty six by eleven? V same hundred volts. Now, this time, what you will find is. This is the three point. Yes. Again, you will get two. One more decimal. One more decimal. One more decimal. Yeah, seven. So three point two seven into hundred. That is the three twenty seven. It's very near my level. Three twenty seven micro coulomb. Look at the change that you got. In this case, before filling, the capacity was three microfarad. After filling, the capacity has increased at three point two seven. You can see here the number. So it has increased since capacity of the network has increased. It will accept more and more charge from the battery. Therefore, in this case, what happens? After filling the three microfarad with a dielectric, now. Additional charge will flow from battery to the network, and what will be that additional charge? Three twenty-seven and three hundred. The difference in here, here, that twenty-seven microcoulomb is the excess charge that flows from battery to the network. I hope the concept is clear. In the case of any changes in the capacity of the network, a simple principle is followed. This example. Says a filled capacitor <coughs> when filled with uh, a dielectric slab whose thickness is one third of distance between the plates. 
if capacity increases by 100% fine directly constant of the slab is the constant so initially it was air capacitor therefore you look at this expression for air capacitor c is equal to a epsilon naught by d generally when the students go through the examples and there are no numerical values find it very difficult see always i tell you whether it is numericals or whether it is symbols or whether it is conceptual question doesn't make any big difference let us be very good at our fundamentals a capacitor is the key therefore i am writing c equal to a epsilon naught by d next one they say slab whose thickness is one third of the distance between you remember what was the expression that we have given yesterday for uh, dielectric slab introduced c dash is equal to a epsilon naught by d minus t into 1 minus 1 by k you remember this yesterday's result now in the place of t i am substituting d by t because it is one third of the distance that it occupies if now look at this c dash is equal to c dash is equal to a epsilon naught d minus this t value is here. d by 3 minus minus mm -hmm. you can find all these simplifications here so it is plus d by k so this what is c dash after the directly it introduced this is what is c dash now the data says increases by 100% increases by 50% any such number now it is increased by 100% means c dash the new capacity is double the initial capacity so c dash equal to c is the result now what follows afterwards all common terms cancel a small cross multiplications and getting the value of k a is not common term mm. d is again a common term therefore this 3k the rises to this numerator then this is 2k minus 3 so so this is what is the value of k equal to 2 look at this example we have used a partial filling of dielectric and a important expression bigger charge drop therefore it has some energy it says initial energy of a bigger charge drop is given to be 100 milli joule the small m i have used it for the sub multiple now supposing that bigger one is now split into identical number is going to be 64 64 identical tiny droplets the question is what will be the energy associated with each small drop now here it is energy associated with each small drop is the question now do remember earlier we did the same example a uh, 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 same case but we have taken the parameters such as intensity of electric field and the potentials what happens to bigger and smaller now this one for bigger i'm not writing u big supposing capital q is the charge on the bigger drop and c is its capacity u big is equal to q squared by 2c and do remember we have yesterday given this expression c is equal to yes 4 pi epsilon naught times r c proportional to r this now u big q charge on the bigger drop c the capacity of the bigger drop now smaller one for each small drop i'm writing if small q is the charge on each small drop and the c dash supposing if i take it as capacity of each small drop then i'm just making substituting those changes since capital q is now divided additive property of charges charges scalar quantity if q is divided into 10 identical each of them becomes q by 10 if it, the number is 20 it will be q by 20 therefore this small q is q by n one substitution the other substitution is c dash in terms of c how is that possible look at this c proportional to r hello C proportional to R and uh, R proportional to n power one by three. You remember why? Why? Because capital R radius of the bigger drop is n raised one by three times smaller. If smaller is the of uh, smaller drop, therefore R proportional to n raised one by three. Now I am using these two results. 
So C dash is C dash, which is nothing but C by N dash 1 by 3. Because radius has decreased, capacity also decreases. So look at this term C dash is nothing but C by N rise 1 by 3. So this is N square term here and this is N rise 1 by 3. So you will get it as N rise 5 by 3 in the denominator. Again this is Q square by, of course 2C is there, right? Yeah. 2 is there. So this is Q squared by 2C. This is the number. 1 by N rise 5 by 3. Therefore, what is the result now you get? U small, energy associated with smaller drop is U big upon N rise 5 by 3. In a given example, you will have a simple solution. 100 milli joule by N given to be 64 rise it to 5 by 3. So please remember all answer in milli joule. Mm? 100 upon 64 is 4 cube and it is 1 3 hello this is 4 cube rise 5 by 3 so this is 100 by 4 rise 5 and I do expect to please do that simplification right so answer always whenever new values are given be very careful about the SI units this example says a capacitor, 3 microfarad capacitor, charged to 200 volts, connected to 5 microfarad capacitor, charged to 120 volts. Actually, some things should be included in the data, which I will tell you later. But supposing a question is simply given like this, without any further information, only one capacitor charged and it is connected to another charged capacitor. Now, the question is find the common potential. Even some other things can also be asked for the same data. Let us continue with that latter to find the common potential. So first the point is that why common why the concept of common potential? Since capacitors are charged and then connected, what is the concept? Charge flows from higher potential to lower potential. Remember always the flow of direction is from higher potential to lower potential. Nothing to do with either charges or capacities. Till what time the flow of charge will continue? Yes, charge will continue from higher potential to lower potential until both acquire common potential. Both acquire same potential. Till then the flow charges. Charge of flow takes place. Now, let us use conservation of energy one more time. Initially Q1 is C1 V1 and then charge on the second capacitor is C2 V2. The total charge on the two capacitors is C1 V1 plus C2 V2 and this is the case before they are connected. Now off connection V is the common potential. This V is the common potential. Therefore the new charge on the C1 will become Q1 dash. I have taken C1 V. And the new charge in the second capacitor C2, say C2, V, V the common, no V1, V2 term here. Therefore, again, the total charge is Q1 dash plus Q2 dash V into C1 plus C2 and conservation of charge. Same charge before and after. So, I'm comparing these two equations. This is the two equations I'm comparing. Therefore, you will get the common particular C1, V1 plus C2, V2 by C1 plus C2 is the common potential. I think some of you can find a similar similar expression in the case of colliding bodies. Remember two bodies colliding in elastic common velocity concept the same expression they got it as common velocity as they got the conservation of momentum m1 v1 v for velocity there m1 v1 plus m2 v2 by m1 plus m2 like that. So it is also the same case, the common potential. I hope you will do the substitution part for yourself. C1 given to be 3 microfarad, V1 given to be 200 plus, C2 given to be 500, 5 micro, connect to charge it to 120 by C1 plus C2 will be 8. You please do this calculation for yourself. Now in this case, 
after finding this common potential for the same data another question can be asked now since you see charge is flowing from a capacitor at higher potential to capacitor at lower potential the charges are flowing in the connecting wire and we know a principle called joule's heating effect whenever conductor carries flow of charges the current there will be joule's heating effect due to a property of resistance and therefore there will be joule's heating effect so in the next part let us calculate how much energy is lost i will show that as an expression see here this one is clear i think right see now for the case of finding loss of energy which is i have told you due to the joule's heating effect now what was the let us first consider the total energy before the two capacitors are connected and that is before the flow of charges so u i is half c1 v1 square for the first capacitor half c2 v2 square for the second capacitor now after connecting both are square common potential v therefore it is half c1 v square plus half c2 v square so i have taken v square common then it will be half c1 plus C two times v square. So now we have total, I mean, energy before uh, connecting and after connecting. Therefore, the loss of energy here is initial energy minus final energy. Now this is an expression. And v you have to again substitute C one v one plus C two v two by C one plus C two. So that will be about three to four lines. And that simplification, final result I have shown. Final result I have shown. Please do remember it. Is half C one C two by C one plus C two times. V1 minus V2 whole square. Again, all the numericals are given. You substitute for the values and get your answer. And of course, finding final answer with the right SI unit should not forget. Now, earlier I have told you when capacitors are connected, they can be connected in two different ways. Two capacitors given and two capacitors connected by a wire. In such case, I would like to discuss. One more type of example here with you. Supposing this is what is a C1 positive plate and negative plate. This is C1. Now this is connected to C2, and I am again showing you here. This is positive plate and negative plate of C2, and now they are connected like this through a wire. This can be one way of C1 and C2 be connected. Second time, another possibility is that this is a positive plate of C1. Earlier you can see positive plate connected to positive plate, negative plate connected to the negative plate like this. But here, second case, positive plate of C1. Supposing if it is connected to the negative plate of C2 or vice versa, right? You can see this. You can see this. What is the difference between the two? There is a sorry, sorry. This one is a negative plate of. This is the positive plate of C two. Positive plate to positive, negative plate to negative. But here positive to negative, negative to positive. Reverse is there. In such case, how to use this expression? How to use this expression? Not only this one, even the case of the common potential also. See here. Now, in this case, positive plate of C1 to the positive plate of C2, negative to negative, the expression will be used with the same notation, V1 minus V2 whole square here. Whereas for this case, where positive and negative plates of C1 and C2 are connected, do remember for this case, it will be an unrelated this entire expression as half C1 C2 upon C1 plus. C2 into V1 minus of minus it will have I will take V1 plus V2 whole square. That's one difference you get. So this expression uh, clearly shows that the loss of energy is more in this case where positive and negative plates being connected for C1 and C2. So this is how capacitors. Connected common potentials and what is the charge that flows or what is the loss of energy? A very important uh, model for CT need.